on April 4th, 1968, it was music that had his attention. I was 24 years old, and uh, my partner and I, Liana, we were probably trying to come up with a song. But history intervened when Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee. Of course, the, uh, the news about Martin Luther King it shocked everybody. King's work resonated deeply with Gamble. He and Huff wove his message of love and equality through many of their songs. Dr. King's message inspired the whole world. And um, he was talking about how humanity should act. He was talking about nonviolence. He was talking about um, how people could and should work together for the betterment of all. It's only one humanity. 50 years later, still inspired by Dr. King and so many other civil rights activists who spent their lives working toward equality, Gamble is doing what he can to shape the next generation. He founded Universal Companies with the sole purpose of helping the African-American community. What we're trying to do is to create an environment where Education is the number one priority. And I think Dr. King, that's what he wanted. He wanted people to have um, a fair chance at life. Though Gamble believes much progress has been made, he says there's still much to be done to heal the wounds of history and create a world where people are judged on the content of their character. But he remains hopeful. To me, it's about about the stupidest thing that you can come up with is why you don't like a person because they they have a different shade. A man is a man, not a race, creed, or color. We're only human beings. That's all we are. Gamble continues to write music and work with his wife and their children on many nonprofit endeavors. They're still doing great things in our community. Oh, there's great no doubt things. about that.